One of the 11 women who've, who've accused New York Governor Andrew Cuomo of sexual harassment is breaking her silence. She's also filed a criminal complaint against him. Here's what she told CBS this morning about two separate alleged incidents. Take a look. I then felt while taking the selfie, his hand go down my back onto my butt and he started rubbing it, not sliding it, not you know, quickly brushing over it, rubbing my butt. And that's when he put his hand up my blouse and cupped my breast over my bra. I exactly remember looking down, seeing his hand, which is a large hand, thinking to myself, oh my God. So Cuomo has denied the accusation and says, quote, he never touched anyone inappropriately. He also is resisting calls to resign. Tori, why do you think he hasn't resigned? Ego. Hmm. Ego. Sorry, I don't care about politics. At this point, when you're president, not only of your party says to resign, people are calling left and right. We have 11 women here. This morning, Melissa DeRosa, a top aide, has quit. She was found in the report to have leaked or tried to leak some discrediting information to retaliate against some of these women, including Lindsey Boylan. I wanted to get that out there. This is so bad, he'll go out by an impeachment. That's how he will go out with his finger claws. That's how he is. And it will only ruin the legacy. If he just bowed out now, it would save this. But he won't. He will not. Do you think there is a way, Erica, that he could have handled? I mean, obviously, we all know he could have handled it differently. Would there be would, would there have been a way for him right. to somehow, to Tori's point, acknowledge what he's done, maybe be part of the solution? Would that have saved any uh, face? <laughs> Or no. Yeah, I think at this point, um, you have to, if you are going to be a servant of the people, you have to put the people first. I think it's only appropriate to step down. Even if, I don't know if a temporary f of, uh, capacity is an option, but you have to get out of the way. We're in the middle of a pandemic still. Uh, New York was a major hotspot. Um, they're obviously leading in terms of how we're navigating this point forward. And this is a major distraction. One thing that really stood out to me was when the quote was made from Cuomo that in so many words, you know, we were in the governor's mansion. There were 10 staff members and my family. And I, it's, they're accusing me of saying that um, I don't care what anybody, if anybody sees. Of course, I wouldn't say I wouldn't care if anybody sees. Well, why are we talking about what you possibly could have said when shouldn't you be negating what you possibly could have done? Like, how do we get to that step? That's the most telling to me. Yeah, he's just digging himself deeper. What do you think? I, I, I mean, maybe you're talking about how could he have gotten out of this? Maybe if when the Me Too was at its crest, maybe about a year and a half ago, if he had come out and gotten way ahead of this, right. maybe we would be talking about some kind of, you know, maybe he would be able to recover by now. But the fact that he is denying right up until the end and to the point where the president calls for your resignation, you're done. At this point, he's a sitting duck. He's powerless. And right now, like you said, Tori, he's just riding on ego because he's saying, you guys aren't going to tell me what to do, but the people will tell him soon.